I'm Jewish. That don't mean. <laughs> I'm Jewish in uh, Hanukkah. We told you about stealing school milk and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> we told you about you got me fucked up. Cause I had to go take out this, that motherfucking thing. This motherfucker got locked up. She, th- she stole a school lunch. <laughs> the freak out with the chocolate milk, the cup in the corner with the biscuit and the motherfucking bologna in your hand. <laughs> the fuck should probably be hungry with a feed you. <laughs> Never mind that shit. Get her to your store. Anyway, this man that lost his damn ass. I'm drinking coffee. Listen, listen. this is my drink. I'm drinking coffee. This is their drink. Who lost their man? Superior. It has nothing to do with the damn shop. I can't get her out of jail. And I lost my man. This motherfucker's crazy. You ain't got nothing on coffee in here. This is not coffee. You drinking the same thing we drinking. Who are you? Who are you? I'm sorry. Lord. I'm Jesus, listen, I'm Jesus' son. The firstborn. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. The God of Jehovah and Allah and... That's who I was calling on. Buddha and everybody. Yeah, and Jesus then came through and sent y'all to come and save me because if it wasn't for Nina and T-Man, I wouldn't have been able to get out of that shit. Tell me why. I get a phone call from my girlfriend telling me to go outside. She needed me to come uh, meet her somewhere and take her here and there. I'm like, I'm not even going this direction today. I'm supposed to be going to the doctor's office. So are you telling us what's, what happened? Do I yeah. yeah, I'm telling you. You asked me uh, about the jail. Well, and I, I ended up locked up. Well, you said you wasn't going to tell us, so I didn't know what you was going to say. You said, fuck it, let me tell you. You said I was going to tell you. Okay, well, let's go. Oh, fuck it now. I'll just go on to the hot topics then. Hot topics. Hot topics. Hot topics. <laughs> hot topics. Tell me why Jada Pickett openly admitted that her and Will Smith had an open relationship. But everybody knows that in the world. You didn't know I didn't, that? No, I did not know that. Yeah, in, in, that in, in that prenup, that, it has a clause where it says they are allowed to fuck other people, but they can't fall in love or leave each other because of that. Real shit. Look, my little brother. This is why I got these two here. Because they both have two different opinions. You can't, yeah, thank you. Well, if you feel like you're going to fall in love with somebody, you can't fuck with them. If they, if they dick good or they pussy good, you can't fuck with them. You, but what if you do it and uh, then you fall in love? Yeah, but this a wrap. But my question is, can you really be happy in a situation like this? And, hey, would you go forward as a woman? And is, is it okay? Is it cool? So, what would you go I for? Ask, we asked him. Start life, chapter four. Life of Cousin Patrick. Hey, Cousin Patrick, how you doing, right? Uh, how you doing, man? We're doing fine. I would like to know, if would you allow your husband or your mate to put in the prenuptial agreement that um, an open relationship is fine, but y'all couldn't leave each other if one or another decide to cheat? No, I'm not with it. I'm strictly, dickly, one hoe, a cool bill, oh, I don't got no one all that. I can't We're not talking my about gayism. I'm not doing that. all that. Can you spell monogamy? In Baldwin, G, monogamy. <laughs> anyway, one motherfucker, it's me and you. It's not me, you, and them. I got, you know, I got one cookie in my cookie jar for him. <laughs> they used to believe that biscuit was spelled B I S K. Bake was spelled B A A K. It's the same thing. Sound that shit out. Aiken. Bake. You see him look like he even doing it better than her 
than it is than me because, because it's gonna turn crack. So, so I'm not with it. So as you being a jealous woman, are you the same way as her? I'm actually I'm a person. Sure. Okay, you're not sure. It's okay. not even a Batman joke. It's not even a Batman joke. No, no, no. 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 Because I, okay. I'm going to ask both of you at the same, same time, okay? Me being personal, but you being my auntie and my stepmother, and you being. My daughter. Her daughter. Yeah, that's my daughter. Or whatever. Yeah. Okay, y'all both have the same kind of belief. Like, y'all not going to share or whatever. Cool. Alright, for me personally, knowing you mm. as my auntie and my stepmother, and you know a person you heard. Yeah, that's so my adopted daughter. Right. I don't know, okay, but that is it's irrelevant, mm -hmm. okay? But if she got different. What given what, what being said, mm -hmm. I know you two. Mm -hmm. So I know you personally, when, when a nigga smother you, you would dismiss him as quick as a heartbeat. So for, for far as you <laughs> saying that. In your situation, me knowing you and me knowing you too, it's like it's hard for you to tell me that you wouldn't allow a nigga just to breathe or go out and seek other things. When if a nigga shows a hundred percent attention to you, you cutting his head off. You're not having it. So how can you? How do you balance? How do you have the balance of um, where you maintain your relationship but you don't smother your relationship at the same time as when you? Don't allow yeah, your man to smother you, but yet you still maintain a hundred percent relationship. How do you handle that? Like, what do you do? So this is totally off the subject. It's no, actually, it's on the same subject. It's on the same subject. We talking about Will okay. and Janet. We talking I'm, about Will okay. and Janet. So if my if, if if there was something, it would have to be like I wouldn't agree with it at first, but let's just say I got he so got, got and let's just say no 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 listen. You said it. let's say at it. first, but let's say he got in a car accident and he got fucked up or something. You know what I'm saying? No, we talk about So, so you you telling me you can accept another woman? He can look at it, but he can't touch it. What? Well, you you telling me you couldn't accept another woman? You couldn't accept a woman? Okay. Well, now what if you have a perfect man, but except for your man just smother you? That, it, 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 in your eyes, it's soft to you. Now you just find other things to keep your man's attention. I know I try to. I keep my man fixing every damn thing. As soon as he get to doing too much of this, I be like, hey, you know that ain't worth it. This wall right here needs to be painted. Let's go down here and the ground. Come on, man. Hey, that grass needs to be cut. Because then, you know. You see how far I'm listening. So, niggas out there in the world, you see how fucked up it is. It's when you show affection, it's fix something. Or no, when you don't, it's short. Well, you said smother if it's too much. But, too much but, 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 but the thing about it is, if a nigga's being honest and he's being loyal, even if it's too much for you, you should still, in some parts, cater to that because he could okay. be doing other things. He could be fucking other bitches. Not if you keep him busy fixing stuff already. Yeah, but what's, it's on the left for so long. No, you keep cooking. Hey, what the fuck? They I'm, don't they always listen. tell me. They I'm make you tired of sleep. My mama told me. I'm going to tell you something my mama told me. A full belly don't get rid of a hard dick. I don't give a fuck. What you <laughs> what you do? You can cook a nigga to death, but it still going to be hard at the end of that meal. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? If I am unable to perform my duties, then and I, I, No, but we not I, even I talking to the like general. It's like you're not able to perform. What That's if the like the only way I'm going to allow that, what, though. No, but I'm just saying, what if the nigga's appetite is just large? They need to cut out the little bit of So, for you personally, hold on. Uh -huh, he just had to cover his ass down. So, <laughs> so, for you personally, it's a, if a nigga's appetite's large, you just feel like that's not the person for you. But what if it is the person for you? What if the nigga makes you smile? He makes you cry? He makes you happy? This is what sad. Will Smith makes Jada Pickett you know feel like. What do you do then when you know this nigga is your one? It is the one. And, and you, you have been through the relationships there. you have been through. And you have been through the happy and the sad times that you've been through. But you know this nigga is the one. What do you do in that situation? Do you fold or do you fold? Oh, now you got a lot of funny things to say. What do you do, huh? But I, I can't deal with that. And nobody's ever asked 
asking you to deal with it, we're asking you, could you accept it or you couldn't you? Or what would you do if it was an so, option? So he's saying I should play. So he's so I'm he not saying anything. Me. I'm asking so you. So asking me, I play, do I play the blind act like I don't see what's going on? No. Basically, no, 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 because Will and Jada, they, no, 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 Will and Jada is up front. She said, hey, Will. Well, well, that's different. Stop. Stop. Hold on. Will, Jenna's like, yo, I'm going to get this dick from the, the pool boy. And Will's either like, nah, you can't fuck the pool boy, but you can fuck the director. I mean, what do you do in that situation? No, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not going to have everybody in my prenup. That's not going to happen. Because I don't feel like that's a true commitment. But it is. You know what? And she cannot it, possibly it, it, have uh, a uh, in all actually of life, I respect Will and Jada more than I respect any other relationships. And this is why being state. As a man, a man, 90% of men cheat. Almost 8% of the men cheat. That's what I'm gonna say. Give us statistics. Give us statistics. 80 or 90% of the men cheat, right? Okay. So for a man to say, yo, look, I love you to the point where I wanna marry you, but I may or may not cheat. You want some more Scooby Snacks. So, if I decide to cheat, this is the cause. So, how can you disrespect the man who says, look, look, I love you with all my heart. We get that. But, I'm not perfect. And I'm the ex that I'm in. I may cheat. So, as y'all can see, everybody, he agrees that that's okay. I, I, I don't he, agree. He, he, I was married for a year and a half. I was with that same woman for 10 years. I had two kids by that woman, and I never cheated. But this is the thing, is if I could have, maybe if I had that respect or that uh, t the level to that woman that I, that he has for his woman, mm -hmm. to where it's just like, yo, if I did cheat, I want to be able to come to you okay. and tell you. Or, and you still be with me. And, and, and know you, this wouldn't be the end of our relationship. And that's what's wrong with most relationships today. Most men feel like, yo, if I fuck up, I don't know, hold on. Most men feel like, if I fuck up, yo, I can't come to the girl I love and tell them, yo, I fucked up. And most women feel like if they come to the man they love and be like, yo, I fucked up. And come to them and know they will still be with them beyond their, 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 their downfalls or whatever they done that was wrong. They will still get over and be with them, so they don't tell them, and they lie, and they, you know, create false lies, and they live false lives. So that's why most relationships don't work. So this is the reason why I respect Will and Jenny because they put it up front, like, yo, if I did fuck somebody, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to come to tell you. And if you did some fuck somebody, I want you to be able to come to tell me. And it was hard for me to accept. Okay to Listen, this bitch ain't even my wife, and I felt heartbroken when she fucked. To school boy, and he did. Let it fuck me up, cause like when normally when a woman cheat on a nigga, niggas are devastated. They can't handle it. And for him to be a hundred percent man, which he has to be, and okay with his sexuality and himself, it it has to be some part in your life where you be like, damn nigga, I would tag my bitch do that to me. Mm -hmm. Like this is your wife for over like 10, 15 years. She fuck a coal worker. Okay, there you go. Okay, and I feel that, and I respect that you respect that. But me, as cousin, but you a woman. Cause you, cause no, that don't make it because I'm a woman. You because a woman. Jenny Pink is a woman, and she's allowing it to happen. No, Jenny you know Pink is this shit. You know, but yeah, he's doing his shit too, though. Okay, listen. So you know, just like with so no, so let's let, 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 let Okay, see. at the end of the day, if that's what they're doing, that's what makes them happy. That's good for them, but that's not good for me. At the end of the day, who's that? What what yeah, let them be happy. I, I think so. So, I so you feel like it's, it's okay as long as the other person happy with it. I mean, if they happy with it, I can't speak on their relationship. What about you? I think that you are too special of a woman to have to keep sharing your cookies with everybody. She fucked Tupac. I just be special. She fucked Tupac. I'm like, fuck Tupac too. Superior. <laughs>
your mama tell your daddy tell your brothers to subscribe to Cousin Patches, baby. Smooches. Mm.